my name is Vaughn and I'm a junior at the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism. I study sports journalism and I've lived downtown for three years and I'm really excited to talk about it. I'm here at the ASU Charter. Uh, ASU is a school that measures itself by whom we include and not by whom we exclude and you can see that right here. Downtown is a really big and bustling area and it's perfect if you want to study something that contributes to public purpose. I'm going to take you guys all around downtown today if you want to follow me. So just behind me here is the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communications, also known as my house because I spend just as much time there as I do at my apartment. We have Arizona PBS here on the fifth floor and we have a full-fledged TV studio on the sixth floor. So if you're interested in journalism work, you can definitely join us here at Cronkite. So I'm in a plaza here with Health North and Health South. Uh, this is if you're studying nursing or health solutions, you're going to be taking a lot of your classes here. And also just right behind me, there's a student-run cafe where everything is sold at cost. So you can get a really, really cheap lunch. So right behind me is the Sandra Day O'Connor School of Law. It is the newest constructed building on campus, and as you can tell, it is very beautiful. Sandra Day O'Connor is a graduate program here at ASU, uh, and some of our majors in downtown, like journalism, are pre-law, so you can go just from right over there to right here. And now we're gonna head to the next spot. School right here is going to be the campus store. This is where you're going to pick up any books that you may have ordered at the campus store, and then we also have ASU swag as well. So we are here in the University Center at the center of the university, haha, <laughs> it's kind of a joke. There are actually about seven floors in this building, so there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, on the very lowest floor is our Information Commons, which is just fancy talk for library. Uh, we have a few classrooms on a few of the floors, so if you have any professors that have classes in here, they're going to have offices on the fourth and fifth floors, so you can head to them for office hours. We also, just behind me, have the ASU Police Department, so if you have any questions for them, they're going to be right there. Uh, we also have something called our Tutoring Center. Our Tutoring Center is a complete free service uh, for any class you can take on the downtown campus. Uh, it's really helpful because if you're struggling you have a student that has taken the class and has passed the class with flying colors to kind of help you out. Behind me here is the transit center. If you're looking to park on campus we can get you a parking pass and if you're looking to ride around campus on a bike we can register your bike with us here as well. And just out these doors is going to be our ASU shuttle system. If you're looking to travel to the Tempe campus it is free, it is air conditioned and it has Wi-Fi and it is super convenient. The shuttles leave every 15 minutes and they'll take you to our other three campuses in the general ASU area. So we are here at Civic Space Park. It's a collaboration between Downtown Phoenix and Downtown ASU to give ASU a space to hold events down here. Uh, we do puppies in the park every semester. You might be even uh, able to adopt a dog. It's really, really cute. And then we also do a battle of the bands here every year. I'm not gonna say anything, but I think my band was robbed last year. Uh, so we have uh, Her Secret is Patience behind me as well. This is my favorite spot on the tour. It's our piece of public art. We always say Chicago has the bead, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and we have Her Secret is Patience. You caught me at the post office. Uh, this building is a little interesting. It's one half historical building and one half ASU building. The historical half is it's the oldest surviving post office in Phoenix and the ASU half is it's a student center. It's designed by students for students. So there's a pool table, a foosball table, a TV, some arcade cabinets and some great places for you to study and hang out. So just behind me right here is the Westward Ho. It's one of our historical buildings in downtown Phoenix. Uh, ASU downtown has decided to use the bottom floor and now that it's low income housing, the bottom floor is gonna be used for our social work at the Watts College. Uh, and then uh, the Westward Ho also, if you've seen Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, uh, the first scene of that entire movie of the establishing shot is of downtown Phoenix and it's shot out of that top window over there. I'm going to take a little break and tell you about the city life here in downtown Phoenix. The first Friday of every month we have something called First Friday. It's an art festival in downtown Phoenix. There's live bands, there's live artists, and you can buy stuff to hang up on your wall. It's super duper fun. Uh, we also have professional sports stadiums down here. We have student ticket options available for the Arizona Diamondbacks and for the Phoenix Suns. So if you want to catch some live sports like I do, you can definitely go ahead and head over to those arenas. So I'm just going to briefly talk about the levels of safety that we have on campus. We have our Phoenix PD, which has one of the best first response times in the nation. And then we also have our ASU PD, and they are always all around on campus here. Uh, just behind me is we have something called the blue light system. The blue light system is something at every major college campus around America. Uh, and the way that it works is if you press a button, then ASU PD will kind of join you at that button that you pressed right away. Uh, but if you need to keep walking, you can press multiple buttons along with the blue lights on top, uh, and they will meet you at the last button that you pressed. 
So here we are at Taylor Place. We're in a nice little shade garden. This is our residential hall uh, in downtown Phoenix. We have a residential style living. So you're gonna have one roommate and that is it. And you're not gonna share any communal bathrooms. You have your own bathroom, which is absolutely wonderful. The only problem is you have to clean it. Uh, but we have a couple of different styles of living. We have tower one, which is just one room with two beds. And then we have tower two, which is a suite style room where you walk in and then you have two beds separated by a wall in two different rooms. So whether or not you want your privacy or you want to sleep 10 feet from someone and become uh, best friends, you have your options here. So on our ground floor here is going to be our dining hall so you don't have to go anywhere to eat. Uh, it's going to be open from 7 a.m. all the way to 10 p.m. so whenever you're hungry you can get some food. Uh, we also have our security desks here. Uh, the building locks except to residents after 5 p.m. and then we have security guards at the desk for 24 hours a day. So we are here at the Sun Devil Fitness and Wellness Complex, or the SCFC as I like to call it. Uh, there's a few really great things at the SCFC. We have a gigantic gym, and we also are partnered with the YMCA, so we have twice the space to work out. The YMCA also has a lap pool and a sauna that we're allowed to use, which is really nice. And then on the ASU side, we have a basketball court, and then we also have a rooftop pool. I know that's probably a joke at your high school that there's a pool on the roof, but there's actually a pool on the roof. It's really, really great, and you can actually get a job as a lifeguard there. The SDFC is the uh, number one employer on campus, so you can have the most glamorous job, which is the rooftop pool lifeguard. Uh, you can also be a desk worker, you can uh, become a personal trainer, or you can teach a fitness class. And we also uh, have intramurals. So I'm standing here at the Arizona Center. There are a few multi-purpose classrooms in here, but the best thing of note is that is there is an AMC here that does $5 movie tickets, and there's a couple of restaurants that take your meal plan as well. So we are here at the Mercado. Uh, this is the headquarters for Barrett, the Honors College on the downtown campus. Uh, so if you have any Barrett related needs, they're gonna be just right behind me here. Uh, we also have a few various classrooms, mostly used for nursing, uh, but you might have a few foreign language classes in here as well. And then we also just have the Hungry Devil Cafe over here. That's my favorite place to grab food. Thanks so much for joining me on this tour. I love downtown Phoenix a lot. It's the perfect mix of historical buildings like the Westward Ho and new buildings that are being built just behind me right here is gonna be a new residence hall for ASU students uh, so we can have more people join us. Um, the city of Phoenix is really near and dear to my heart so I'm really glad you could share this with me today.